During the Clarence Thomas hearings, the media touted leftist feminist groups as though they spoke for all women. When the media acknowledged the existence of another side, which was rarely, they would point exclusively to social conservatives and the discussion would focus on abortion. Women who care about economics, national security, schools, and our constitution, and were conservative, were ignored. So the thoughtful, outspoken women who had formed and played such a crucial role in the confirmation process with Women for Clarence Thomas recognized that too many women didn't have an advocate in Washington. They decided to change that. An independent women's forum was born. IWF recognized that not only were most center-right women being neglected, but that that was just a symptom of several large strategic holes that needed to be filled if conservatives were to fight back and win. First, other conservative groups generally spoke to the conservative base, but not beyond the base. Second, most independent groups cared more about getting a deal than what was in the deal. Third, the rhetoric used by the right was meant to galvanize the already convinced, not to educate and persuade. And that in turn created a fourth problem, after we had scared people in the middle by how we talked to ourselves, the idea that we had a policy problem and needed to move policies to the left, when in fact what we had was a marketing problem for our great ideas. So missing was this key if we are to fight and win, a high impact organization specializing in persuasion that is effective beyond the conservative base. That is Independent Women's Forum. And the first prong of its plan to win was to become a media powerhouse, retailing our best ideas in a more persuasive way beyond the base. If IWF didn't exist, our country and our politics would be in a very different place. Harkening back to our founding out of the Clarence Thomas confirmation hearings, it was our memo that became Senator Susan Collins' Senate speech that explained how she could support the Me Too movement while also becoming the deciding vote to confirm Justice Brett Kavanaugh. Another example, it's the female athletes and their stories that we've brought to the attention of the media that have lit the fire under the push to be clear that while men and women may be equal, they are not the same. And on the policy front, for example, IWF's outside the box paid leave work completely changed the national conversation and prevented terrible ideas from progressing. There was a growing consensus, not just among liberals, but many conservatives, that the only way to help workers who need time off was to create a restrictive government entitlement. IWF showed that there are alternatives, better ways to help people who need it without creating a one-size-fits-all regime and without shifting costs to other workers or taxpayers. Today again, we are leading the push against efforts to marginalize women as a matter of policy and erase women in the law. Our Women's Bill of Rights effort, where we brought together principled women on the left and right, showed women that we are on the side of common sense and science. We are standing up for women's rights, and we're changing the political landscape as a result. Congratulations to the Independent Women's Forum on a fantastic and highly influential 30 years. I want to say congratulations. You champion critical priorities. You've been a voice for millions across the country, and you have spent day after day fighting to secure an America where women can continue to succeed and thrive. This is an extraordinary track record. When Republicans take back the House, we look forward to continuing our partnership in securing a future that's built on freedom for all Americans. For 30 years, Independent Women's Forum has been providing helpful, factual information from a woman's perspective. You've brought voices of your members to our hearings, our roundtables, and have guided the committee with real world examples of how policy impacts American families. I can't wait for another 30 more. So keep doing what you're doing. The American people are lucky to have such a tough and talented team fighting for freedom in Washington. IWF, 30 years and counting. Congratulations on reaching this milestone. I've been so proud to participate in IWF's events, online uh, podcasts, and more. You do so much to ensure that we are standing up for our conservative values. Thank you for your smart, strategic leadership in giving Republican women a stronger voice. For 30 years, you have been committed to making our country an even better place and to creating more opportunities, not only for women, but for all Americans. 
By elevating the voices of women leaders of today, you give encouragement to the leaders of tomorrow. Congratulations on your landmark anniversary. Congratulations to the Independent Women's Forum on its 30th anniversary. What a great milestone. As a U.S. Senator, I've enjoyed working with the IWF on meaningful issues, especially protecting women in women's sports. Congratulations to the Independent Women's Forum on your 30th anniversary. It has been a privilege partnering with you to advance freedom and opportunity for all of our citizens and to make sure that we come up with workable solutions on issues like paid leave and child care. The work you've accomplished is critical, and so is the understanding you have amplified that we have all varied life experiences, goals, and points of view. We are, in fact, all independent women. I celebrate with you the many years of success you've worked so hard for, and look forward to watching and even benefiting from your future success. Happy 30th! IWF. Happy 30th anniversary to the Independent Women's Forum. Thank you so much for the wonderful work that you do. IWF has invested its moxie and its muscle into making us all think smarter and work harder. IWF, congratulations on the first 30 years of what I know will be a durable, lasting, impactful legacy. As they used to say in that long ago ad, you've come a long way, baby. IWF certainly has. From a small organization focused just on media, we are now a persuasive powerhouse, a leading voice on social and earned media with multiple policy centers, a law center, and a rapidly growing grassroots network of women nationwide. IWF provides better messaging to conservative leaders and is now the go-to resource for Hill testimony and innovative policy ideas. That work is then leveraged by our sister advocacy organization to affect regulations and legislation. Thank you for being a part of our community, our network, and helping us do what we do. Without you, our impact wouldn't be possible. And remember, as we continue on, your support is more critical than ever. Thank you.